There's no such thing as bad publicity. Sharon Horn Elstrom here in clown face, the supersize your business, sharing the idiom, the expression, there's no such thing as bad publicity. I got to thinking about this. Of course, I've heard this expression. I've experienced this expression, this idiom, both the good side and the bad side, and realized it comes from, of course, Phineas T. Barnum, the 19th century American. He started out as a self-publicist and, uh, politician and then he went into becoming a showman and a circus owner most of us if we've heard of bt barnum or pt barnum we've heard of his circus the barnum and bailey circus at least when i was a kid that was around traveling around the country uh with amazing acts and three wing circuses clowns and elephant rides and all kinds of cool things <clears throat> oscar wilde said something similar in that he said the only there's only one thing worse than being talked about and that's not being talked about. So there's a lot of belief that goes back to many, many years that we'd rather be talked about in a negative way than not be talked about at all. We'd rather have some buzz and attention and some commotion about us than to be totally ignored. The opposite of love, of course, is indifference and the opposite of attention is to be ignored or invisible or unseen. Uh, so bad publicity, what does that mean to you? To me, it means things like if a lie or an inaccuracy is exposed, uh, it can lead to disappointment, loss of trust, which none of which is good for our business, right? Bad press, online shaming and bullying, all those things can be detrimental to our business if we're not aware of them, and if we don't know that they actually go on. A lot of business owners still have no online presence, but even if you don't have an online presence that you're creating intentionally, chances are there are things about you and your business and your organization on the internet. You can search your business name, your personal name, and see what's out there. And you'll be not surprised to find that a lot of it is not true. And a lot of things that are attributed to you aren't even about you. And so it's important to, to get a pulse on that and know what's being said and what's out there. Even better than that is to conscientiously and consciously create your own brand, your own name, your own online presence so that it isn't just being created by people outside of your organization. Uh, I personally have experience with this. I was involved in one of my businesses with lawsuits and disorderly house allegations and city council meetings leading to a sudden cardiac arrest, all what people would consider bad publicity, but ended up being very, very good publicity for that business because people came in just to see what all the fuss was about. People came just to find out what the story was about in the media. People that had never been there before were now attracted to that business. So in a lot of ways, bad publicity is better than no publicity. The good publicity is, of course, what we want and the best form of uh, recognition and attention for our business. So I'm curious, what do you think about this particular topic? Have you run into this where you've had experience with publicity, bad or good? And what has that experience been? Nowadays, <clears throat> and I think I'd be a little remiss if I didn't say something about this, uh, there is a lot of manipulation of the media and the internet and the publicity and the buzz and everything that goes on. And you need to be aware of that and understand that if you are not speaking up, not saying something, not counteracting or responding to some of the things that are out there about your organization, it's assumed to be true. Even if it's absolutely positively not, it's assumed to be true. It's like managers being responsible for all of the things and all of the actions of the people that report to them even if they don't know about it. If they should have known about it, it's assumed they should have been known about it, then they're considered responsible and guilty, just like the people that report to them. The same is true in our businesses, with our businesses, in our lives, in our reputation. Whether we know about it or not, it's our job to be responsible and know about what's being said out there. And with respect to what's going on in the media and not just social media, but in our mainstream media here in the United States, with censorship and things, <clears throat> I think that if we don't stand up and say, this is wrong, I might not agree with you, but I will defend your right to have an opinion and express your opinion, just like I want to be able to express my opinion. By not standing up and saying that, we're complicit. We're, say we're agreeing in other people's minds or opinions, even if we never did by being silent. I had this discussion with my son the other day, and it was really a good reminder for me that we have to stand up for what we believe in. And again, the bad publicity, good publicity thing, it's all subjective. I think back to the days of Howard Stern and they did a study and Howard Stern found out that more people that watched his show hated him 
that actually liked him. So as long as you're polar and taking a stand and you stand for something, people are either attracted to you or they are you're repelling them, which is exactly what we want with our businesses and even in our lives because we're not for everybody. So that's our idiom, our expression for today. There's no such thing as bad publicity. Love to know your take on this. Share in the comments below. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how much you use it in your business and maybe even in your life right now. Take care. Bye.